Hello Aquarius, welcome to your March 2022 reading. I'm going to have a look at your energy first, and then we are going to get into some advice for you. So can I please get the energy for Aquarius for March of 2022? We have the Three of Wands in the reverse, the High Priestess in the reverse, and the Star in the reverse. It looks like March, you, you're in a pretty rough energy. You are feeling there are delays. And we don't always love delays and with delays some kind sometimes comes the energy of losing hope in the things that we want or feeling disconnected from our intuition so that's what i see here for you in march i want to clarify what these obstacles are for you can i please see what this or these obstacles are for Aquarius, please. What are they struggling with in March? What are their obstacles? We got the Queen of Swords. So someone might have a snake's tongue. Or just brutally honest. What, what is these obstacles? And the Page of Swords. Your problems are decisive of honesty and gossip and defensiveness. So, you may be having a hard time not embodying an energy of gossip or hmm i think i need to clarify this further decisiveness and honesty there's the three of pentacles in reverse something might be going poorly at work or in some kind of group you participate in and it's making you feel out of touch and maybe a little bit hopeless. And I'm sorry to see that, Aquarius. I would like to get some advice for you. We need advice for Aquarius. Oh, <laughs> we have the Empress in reverse. We have death in the reverse, we have the knight of swords, we have the hermit, the three of swords in reverse, and the ace of cups. So I was compelled to draw a lot of advice for you guys. So first thing first is this empress in the reverse. I'm going to look that up for you. Very specifically, I think seeing the words help me intertwine the story a little bit better because I can get an intuitive feeling without quite knowing how to express it. Where is the Empress? The Lovers, the Emperor. Disconnection and creative blocks, refusal to change, fast action, the hermit, healing, and a love gift. Fast action.
I feel like you can see here that these two reversed cards are obviously beautiful cards, but they're energies that you're not wanting to be in. So the advice is to take this Knight of Swords and run towards the Hermit and the Three of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Cups, where you are embracing this self-love and this gift of self and your healing and your solitude. And maybe right now you don't need to be in this conflict that you're dealing with, you can take steps back and be with yourself if you need to, Aquarius. And I would like to also get a animal oracle advice card for you, or rather a few. So animal oracle advice for Aquarius, please, for March of 2022. <sighs> we have the starfish in reverse, the seahorse spirit, the dolphin spirit. I, mean, I don't, I'll read it anyway. It says be playful, but it's in the reverse. So your seahorse, your starfish spirit says open to infinite possibilities. You guys need to know that infinite possibilities are out there and you need to be open to them and the world is open to them for you. So you just need to embrace them. The seahorse spirit says watch and wait. You need this patience of, this energy of patience. You need this energy of the hermit to work on your healing. And this says this and that are true. <laughs> Uh, everyone's side of the story is different and maybe if you're hurting and they're hurting more than one thing can be true and everything is not always black and white be playful this doesn't mean you necessarily have to uh, automatically forgive them or anything to that degree but it's nice to at least hear the other side of any story I do want to read the starfish spirit and <laughs> on the bottom of the deck there was this be peace and know your worth time for a beginner mind and transformation is beautiful it's time to let go i know i grabbed a lot of cards there at the end but i hope this uh made sense to you guys let me read these cards to you i'm sorry when they come in the protective message i want to read it to you guys because i feel it's important So let's go. When cynicism says no, starfish spirit says yes a thousand times over. Are you willing to entertain new possibilities? Are you limiting your goals in order to be realistic and cutting yourself off from the power of dreaming big? Let go of your rigid beliefs about what is possible for you and let starfish spirit inspire you to open your heart and your eyes to what spirit has available for you. And let starfish spirit inspire you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now it's time to stretch beyond the familiar and unfurl yourself, for you are meant to be far more than you are imagining for yourself. Spirit wants the best for you and will support you in achieving whatever intention you hold dear. When your heart is heavy and life seems to weigh down on you, Sandpiper's spirit message is to lighten your burden by finding joy and humor in the everyday. Become like a playful child filled with curiosity and wonder and soon you will feel your own spirit lift. A few minutes or hours of fun-filled delight is exactly what you need now. Enjoy the ridiculousness of life and be willing to jump in. Let your inner goof out and express itself with abandon. Thank you so much for watching Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it helped. I hope you have a wonderful March and you get everything you need. Bye! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!